Hello Aries and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you messages for this week. That is the week that you are viewing the video and that is when it is meant for you to see. You're going to know. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign where we're going to look at whatever is meant to be heard through this reading. Some of it may be part of your life. It may be the entire video. You're going to know how it resonates and follow up with your moon and rising sign. The message that I'm getting right now, Aries, is you have something grand coming in, a grand gesture, a grand offer. It could even be a grand of money, <laughs> but we're going to take a look at the detail. That's the overall message that I'm hearing. That's very positive news, right? And so I hope you guys are doing well. I am located here in New York and I'll be here for a while. I've decided to stay um, and and experience the New York experience. So if you're in the area, you can find me in my new uh, office location by appointment, of course, downtown in um, Manhattan. And if you book with me, we can walk and talk through Central Park. So it'll be a really fun type of a, a new change. Okay, Aries, we have the card of the devil. Now, this may be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, but for the majority of you, I don't feel it is. I feel this is not good. It just flew right out of my hand. I didn't drop it. It flew out of my hand. So let go of any toxic situation around you, just like you saw that fly out of my hand. Let it go because you've got something incredible coming in. It's almost like you have a big choice to make. Remember I said something grand is going to come in for you. This is the Queen of Pentacles and that would indicate a grand offer, a grand gesture from the Queen of Pentacles. Something you can bank on, so to speak, a financial payout for some of you. But for a lot of you, I feel it's an actual opportunity getting ready to take place. But it has everything to do with this. If this is a person in your life that is surrounding you that has toxic energy, they can actually block you. But for some of you, it's a Capricorn individual because we have two earth elements right next to each other. But the devil also has this sense of passion about it. Now hear me out for a second. When we get bored is when we start looking at things that are a little bit, mm, a little bit enticing. And we can actually do things to create passion and excitement. And that's what I feel has happened with you. Your inner passion, I feel, was stirred by someone. It may have been something, but for the majority of you, I'm seeing that this was a person that lit your fire inside of you and you are fire. And that's exactly what you needed so that you could become this. You're getting ready to become the queen, male or female, you're getting ready to become the queen of pentacles and a great place to be. So let me pull, um, they want this message for you. There's a few, several more cards coming. Hold on just one moment. Aries, I feel some of you might be dealing with people in your life that are going through the stage of anger, the grieving stage of anger. This is not a fun place to be in. This is where people misdirect their anger onto someone else that they don't even know. It's like they say mean things and it has nothing to do with the person and they're mad at their partner, but they don't know how to tell their partner, right? So I feel this underlying energy. So you may be dealing with misplaced anger at the beginning of the week that you are looking at. Don't doubt yourself. A captain initiated this cat. I have a captain. <laughs> Captain's my golden retriever. He ate it. He, he thought he would contribute to your readings. Do not doubt this situation. Do not doubt yourself. You're going to know if it's right for you. We always do. If you feel you must be grounded every time you're around this experience that you're dealing with in your life right now, don't doubt what you're feeling. Now let's take a look uh, a little bit more at who you're dealing with because this is feeling so vague. I almost get the impression there are hidden secrets attached to this. This may be a secret little situation, like I said, when we get bored and feeling like we, we need a little spice in life, we can do something that we wouldn't normally do. 
And I feel that has everything to do with this particular reading. So let's see who or what may come through. We've got the devil again. Okay, some of you have been naughty, naughty, naughty. We've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. We also have the Prince of Swords. So some of you are getting ready to go through a divorce, the separation. It may have been a very toxic relationship. Basically, everything I just said, right, applies to the cards that just flew out. So when we're looking at this, you may have an opportunity coming in, absolutely. But by releasing this devil energy, the toxicity, and I don't mean an actual demon or devil, although there are some that may be dealing with that. The majority of you, this is an experience that you've been dealing with. This may be a partnership that you're involved with. It may be your own parents or your own children that you've been dealing with. But I feel for a lot of you, this is an actual partnership that is getting ready to dissolve. You don't know necessarily whether it's right or wrong. They may, you may, but the point is inside of you, you know all the answers. You already know the answers that you seek. So do not doubt yourself when it comes to understanding this relationship. Now, there are people everywhere that are going to be angry. We've got the Six of Swords, and this keeps popping out. No matter whether I shuffle or not, it comes out on its own. We move away from the Five of Swords energy, and that would be the devil energy. That would be the self-sabotage, the person who comes in tit-for-tat kind of a situation that wants to make sure they prove you are, they blow you up before you ever get a chance to even turn around and that way they win. And that is a devil energy, okay? That's a person, but that's what they do. Self-sabotage is equally maybe a part of this. This may be talking about your inner divine feminine and masculine for some of you, but I don't think so. I think for the majority of you, and if it is, this message still applies. But the majority of you, this is an experience of a couple, a situation. You're going to move away from it. You're saying, you know what? I'm going to cut ties. I'm going to use this Prince of Swords and release myself from this because I can't function anymore. And here we go. By moving forward, here is the King of Pentacles. You're starting off knowing your value. And you're going to meet somebody. An offer is going to come through. That's going to confirm your value. You may very well have already met somebody that's done that. And that's what's helping you move forward. But whatever it is, it's causing anxiety and fear. It might cost a lot of money. And that's why this King of Pentacles is here. But with the King of Pentacles comes something very grounded and secure. So if you trust yourself... You're going to know if this is the right attorney, if this is the right financial endeavor, if the amount of money that you are desiring is actually what you feel inside you deserve. Not from ego, but from the true core being. Ego can get you what you want, but it always has that karmic aspect. And it does come back. It doesn't matter who we are. It will come back and kick us in the end. And that's what we're all looking at as we move forward into this new evolutionary beginning. And so let's pull an angel message for you to help you along the way. You have the card of Sonia that popped out. And Sonia brings a message from your deceased loved ones. I am happy and at peace. I love you very much. Do not worry. Now for some of you, this could have been an actual separation where an inheritance has come into play and it could have caused some turmoil in the family as far as that financial side that I'm talking about but this is overriding whatever it is you're going to overcome this situation why because you have this coming in so do not worry Aries because you know that worrying is going to create a negative outcome this is going to be a solid opportunity a payout coming in this is about everything in the material plane that's going to make you feel in your surroundings comfortable again so whatever you're expecting don't doubt it 
focus on what it is you truly want. Have an amazing week. Thumbs up this video and share with other Aries so that we can help our humanity. Much love.